guys. Uh, today, I really got uh, his name was uh, Mega Pokemon Master, and this was a really good match. One of the best matches I've ever had, probably. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This match was amazing. A lot of predicting, switch, and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to start narrating now. Uh, he started the match with his jump up, and he did an epic fail on his sleep powder. So he went, he switched out to his uh, Scizor, and I went for a uh, Confuse Ray on him, just in case. Um, since he switched to his uh, Scizor, I went for an Ice Beam. Uh, Bug Bite did a lot of damage, and this Scizor is Choice Bandit, I found out. Um, so I locked in him to his uh, Confuse Ray, and uh, the Bug Bite actually killed my Lapras, so... Good job, Lapras, you're not as bulky as the uh, Smogin said. Oh, well. Um... I switched into my Arcanine, predicting that he would switch, and uh, I was correct. Uh, he switched his Dizor Gondu. His Porygon 2 has a trace ability, which means he turned around and used my Intimidate against me. Um, I should have went for a Fire Type but I didn't want to over predict. I, didn't, I was kind of scared that he might have had a Fire Type with him on. So. I went for a crunch the first time around, I went for a fire blast the second time, and fire blast wasn't even to take him out. So he took this opportunity and now he went for thunder wave, and now he's going to recover all that damage I gave him at the top of zone. <laughs> well, I went for an overheat and uh, just trying to see roughly how much damage overheat did compared to a fire blast. And it's basically the same thing as the crunch and fire blast. So I found my, um, Arcanine for a Jinx, and uh, he predicted the switch, so he went for recover, obviously. Recovering all that uh, damage from Fire Blast. So I put the uh, Pokemon with a uh, lovely kiss, and uh, I wasn't paying attention. I went to go do something, and he was like awake up in the hell. Then, like, the, when I was narrating my video just now, I found out that he got a lot more. Uh, he went for a uh, Thunderbolt and paralyzed me with a uh, Heat Wave. So now my Jinx is like next up being faster than Porygon 2. Went for a Blizzard, just trying to see roughly how much damage it did. And, uh. Wasn't even enough to kill this Pokemon. So he went for another recover, and I'm like, oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna kill this Pokemon anytime soon. So I went for another move. I think it was Psychic. Uh, it because he went for recover and he's recovering any hit that I'm throwing at him. So now I'm like, okay, I have to with that lovely kid. But he went for a Thunderbolt, so I was like, I'm kind of screwed now. But he managed to attack with his H. I was like, sweet Jinx. And uh, he put it to sleep finally. So he switched out his uh, poor dude and I did it him. Blizzard didn't do anything to this out of steel. Basically, Raging Steel scrubbed off his wood. And he's probably laughing at my jinx, thinking it's a joke. Um, he went for a Stealth Rock, and I went for a Psychic just trying to do some damage because I can't really put it to sleep, otherwise, I'd be breaking the rules. Um, yeah. There goes my jinx. Part of my female Pokemon. Good job, jinx. Um,. Now I'm kind of screwed because with Stealth Rock, like two or three of my Pokemon is like weak to Stealth Rock damage. Um, I switched in my Nido Queen. He was predicting the Earth move, <coughs> and he was right because I went for an Earth Power doing Hope on the uh, it's one hit K range. Yeah. So we're gonna try my uh, on the Weezy, and uh, Weezy resisted the attack and uh, went for a little risk. So now that I got a trip, at least hoping it goes by until I paralyze it. Um, he resisted that, or he didn't resist Night of Queen that time. It was a no life I love, but Burn is actually taking a pull on my Night of Queen. But it's a good thing she's not completely physical. Uh, we went for another body stun, hoping to get the tire hacks, and I actually did. So now Night of Queen did her job. <laughs> Except my Nido King combo won't work as much anymore because of the burn status, and uh, I don't have any moves really to counter it. So I switched out Nido King and went out for my Arcanine, and uh, 
Arcanine got hit with like 25% by the Stealth Rock. And I got Intimidate on Weak Chase's Trap, which is bad, like, completely my life. Just in case. Uh, he goes for a Flamethrower, and I predicted the Fire type move, actually. And, uh, he switched out his Weezing and went for a Kingdra. I predicted the switch, I didn't go for a Fire type move. I went for a Crunch. And, uh, this Crunch actually got a Pickle Hit, plus a Defense drop. I was like, sweet. So now I went for an Extreme Speed, so I was like, thinking that, uh, Extreme Speed would, like, KO this bastard. But it actually hit him. But he made a mistake. He went for Substitute. I was like, oh my... I was really happy. I was like... I was actually kind of scared of Team Drive because he might have actually swept my whole team. Um... I killed his King Drive and switched out to his, uh, Registeel. And Registeel suffered the draft of my overheat from Arcanine. But Arcanine... He killed his Registeel, uh, here it comes explosion, probably, because that's what all rage is carrying, basically, like, gets so embarrassing in battle. Um, he went for an explosion, just like I predicted. So, I didn't switch him, obviously, otherwise, my fresh promo got sent, and, uh, I switched into my Nido Beam, and, uh, he sent out his, uh, Jump Club. So, Jump Puff went for a U-turn, because I think he was actually hoping that I would bring out a fresh Pokemon, he would use his uh, Sleep Powder again. But, I don't think that so, it was quite out lightning. Um, he turned out his Jump Puff for a Weezing, and Weezing's for kind of like a Pack Sludge, I think. And, uh, I went another Body Slam. Honestly, all my moves don't do anything. I could have went for an Attract, but... It would only prolong the battle. So. Nido Queen's gone. Weezing's still alive. I went for uh, my Metagross. Uh, Metagross went for a Psychic, just trying to see if I could actually one hit KO this SOB. Smog from China. Uh, but he survived with 1 HP. I was like, oh, this is stupid. You yeah. know. Then I maxed out my special attack and then he killed me. But whatever. Uh, he went for a will o -Wisp and, uh, just making sure that I wasn't completely, uh, physical or just me off of my little. But I took out his Weezy and Psychic. And, uh, here comes Scizor now, and he goes for a Choice Band and Bug Bite. Uh, up on the HP. And he goes for a Shadow Ball. Um, Shadow Ball didn't do anything, so actually, I think I was better off with like, uh, Psychic. And my trick, my trick set was ruined, because if I tricked him for his, uh, Toxic Orb, I wouldn't have done anything. So, my last Pokemon to be on is a Salamence, and he was putting out his deck to switch, and I went for a Fire Blast, my Fire Blast missed, and I was like, this is over, basically. Um, if that Fire Blast would have connected, Jump Block would have stayed at 1 HP. If I was assuming he had Focus Sash, I could just Fire Blast the last three Pokemon. 